drop down dew from above, you heavens, and let the clouds rain down the just one. Let the earth be opened and bring forth a saviour. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Once David had settled into his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all the enemies surrounding him, The king said to the prophet Nathan, Look, I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go and do all that is in your mind, for the Lord is with you. But that very night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, thus the Lord speaks, Are you the man to build me a house to dwell in? I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be leader of my people Israel. I have been with you on all your expeditions. I have cut off all your enemies before you. I will give you fame, as great as the fame, as the greatest on earth. I will provide a place for my people Israel. I will plant them there and they shall dwell in that place, and never be disturbed again. Nor shall the wicked continue to oppress them, as they did in the days when I appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give them rest from all their enemies. The Lord will make you great. The Lord will make you a house. And when your days are ended, and you are laid to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing forever your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure that your love lasts forever that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He will say to me, you, my Father, my God, the rock who saves me, I will keep my love for him always, for him my covenant shall endure. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Glory to him who is able to give you the strength 
to live according to the good news I preach and in which I proclaim Jesus Christ, the revelation of a mystery kept secret for endless ages, but now so clear that it must be broadcast to pagans everywhere to bring them to the obedience of faith. This is only what scripture has predicted and it is all part of the way the eternal God wants things to be. He alone is wisdom. Give glory, glory therefore to him through Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 I'm the servant of the Lord. May his will for me be done. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed, to a man named Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy, and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has, in her old age, herself conceived a son, and she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Ah, ah, man. As we await with longing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters, let us with renewed devotion beseech his mercy that, as he came into the world to bring the good news to the poor and heal the contrite of heart, so in our time also he may bring salvation to all in need. That Christ may fill the Pope, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops with spiritual gifts and graces. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. That Christ may guide, guide the minds of those who govern us to promote the common good according to his will. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. That Christ in his mercy may free all who suffer persecution. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. That Christ may find us watching when he comes. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Almighty ever-living God, who brings salvation to all and desire that no one should perish, hear the prayers of your people and grant that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and your church rejoice in tranquility and devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.